In this video, we will talk about how to program an ATV312 drive to run in reverse along with your run forward. So, um, on this drive, your LI1 is a run forward command and two wire control. That's pretty much established in almost all of our drives. So, but for reverse, you actually can program reverse to whatever you want with the exception of LI1. So, LI1 is a, basically a program for run forward only. <clears throat> Excuse me in most cases and reverse has to be programmed it is not programmed in most cases from the factory so <clears throat> the way that will work <clears throat> is you want to go ahead and enter on your display in your main menu and you want to scroll down to the IO menu and you want to scroll down to Robert Robert Sam RR5 this is your reverse parameter now you may have this already be programmed as some kind of logic input it can be assigned to no, it can be assigned to two, three, four, whatever you want. Um, let's just say we want to use, it to, uh, use, it, use the logic in but two as a reverse assignment. So once that's programmed, you enter on that. <clears throat> so once this is done, you can now escape back out to your main display. And on my drive here, we have aligned uh, LI2 to be reversed. So if I toggle LI2 on my drive, <clears throat> you will notice your drive is going to show you some kind of frequency that it's running at, depending on how your speed is coming from. But more importantly, it's going to show you a negative number. If you see a negative number on a display like this, that means you are giving it a reverse command. So let's just try run forward now, just to give you the opposite side of the spectrum here. So you drop your run command for the reverse. You toggle LI1 now, and as you can tell, it's positive now, not negative. So that's how you can do a reverse and a run forward command if that's what you're trying to do. But the most important thing is to realize that you have to go into the IO menu by going scrolling down your main menu, IO, and programming RR5 to the logic input that you would like that's assigned to reverse assignment. And along with this, I mean, just keep in mind that your logic inputs will have to be wired up, as you can tell uh, on the bottom here. You have, I know it's not clear right now, but you have LI1 through LI6, so make sure that you wire it accordingly. And this basically concludes how to wire and program an HTV312 drive to run in reverse along with run forward, possibly.